So what does life really look like when you live on a sailboat? Well, that totally depends on the day. Some days, like today, we are sailing in perfect conditions and have the best of everything this lifestyle has to offer. Other days, it's windy and rainy and all you can do is stay inside and stay dry and stay safe. And then other days, it's just life. All the mundanity and reality of life on land. Except we happen to live on a sailboat and that makes everything just a little bit more complicated. I thought for this video it might be fun to give you a glimpse into one of our average weekend days where we have to restock the boat, fuel up, and just hang with our daughter. How we live our daily lives for a paradox even when we're not sailing. Today is fuel up day, so we're going to be jerry canning from across town using these giant minions. How many gallons of diesel are you planning on getting today? Uh, probably 60 to 70. Each one of these holds 15, so it's a pretty good start. Alright Jeff, you ready? So, so these are not empty at the moment. Yeah, they can't. Getting fuel for our boat in Georgetown was not as easy as just pulling our big boat up to the fuel dock. The previous year, a boat with our draft six feet had run dangerously aground, and we certainly didn't want that to happen to us. And just the previous day, a big fishing boat had caught fire while sitting on the fuel dock. No, honey, it's, it's a boat that's on fire. You see all that smoke? I think that is a permit. The boat is being pulled off the dock now. It is being pulled out by dinghy, so it looks like we're gonna get it out of the fuel dock. Fire. So we had good reasons for going through the extra time and effort to just jerry can the diesel from the fuel dock to our boat. All right, so you want me to help you? Nothing with... really to help with at this point. How are we going to get the diesel from the Minion into our? Uh, we've got a siphon. Once the siphon action starts, it should be self tending. Can you tell if it's going? I think it's going, but yeah, it's kind of tough because I can't really hear it. It's a relatively low flow. This is actually going to take a while. Okay. Well, Will went back and forth across the channel and spent the whole morning getting us loaded up with diesel. I took Maddie on a paddleboard adventure to the beach where we would spend the morning before nap time swimming and playing in the sand.
So Maddie and I have just gotten to Monument Beach. We paddle boarded from our boat a fair bit away, probably at least half a mile, and have just had to have our first lesson in spiky spotting. As soon as I pulled the paddle board in, I got pricked with just that little bugger. So let's take a look at what these look like so we know for future reference. Those are what? little pine cones. Pine cones. Yeah, those are pine cones. But the spiky plants are these ones. Is these it? long grasses and... Don't. Yeah, don't go near it. And if you look right here... That's a spike. That's a spiky. I won't touch it. Don't touch it, okay? Okay. Did you get one? You okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, don't go anywhere near these, honey. Look, there's a whole pricker bit right there. Why don't we come play on the beach? Spiky, spiky, you got it? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, honey, oh, goodness. Okay, all right, all right. They're all in your butt. Darn it. All right, Spikies, you win that round. You okay, sweet girl? Yeah. Yeah. I am so sorry that happened. You're the worst, huh? You got Spikies like me. Maddie, Mommy, Spiky time. It's kind of funny. Yeah, that's why I'm just here on the sand. Yeah, let's just stay on the The rest of the afternoon after nap time was devoted to more errands. We needed water and we needed groceries. So we piled the whole family into town to check those items off our to-do list and to deposit a lot of trash. Okay, Maddie, throw that away in the truck. Toss it on up. Whoop, try again. Some help. Oh, baby. Okay, stop one. Trash truck. In Georgetown, there's this amazing service. L, &L disposal. We give them some money, they take away our trash. Win-win. No recycling, but what can you do? What'd you get? Oh, those are beautiful. Next up, we're getting groceries. So Will is doing all of our water. Maddie and I are gonna go to the grocery store. We're gonna go to two stops, see what we can find. Yeah. Those are your flowers. I will drop my flower. Everybody has their job, nine to five and getting drained. Settle for second best Scared to risk what the future might bring 
Shop one completed, $70 of some juice and apples. Time to go to shop number two. If I love all the ways the world puts me to the test, if I embrace every fall, learn to grow and keep myself tall. Alright, chore is completed. Time for a very splashy dingy ride back. Getting into town at Georgetown can sometimes be a wet experience as you have to go under a bridge that funnels all of the current in one direction. So whenever we go, we always have to wear bathing suits in case the ride there or back is very wet. Nala, that is not your yeah. bread. <laughs> Chores completed. It was time to end the weekend on the beach with a bonfire, roasted hot dogs, and some marshmallows to watch the sun go down and get ready for another day of fun in the sun on our sailboat.